I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings minus five and a half at home against the Detroit Lions. Um, look, I am not overreacting to what I saw. I love the Eagles last week. It is a phenomenal matchup. To Kirk Cousins, uh, you know, he turned into Kirk Cousins in primetime. Um, it happens, but he also, if you look throughout his career, he is horrendous against zone defense. And the Eagles put on a clinic in that from a defensive standpoint. And Cousins was just awful. Well, the Lions run a ton of man. And this I mean, Cousins in this offense at home, this is still one of the best home field advantages in the NFL. Off that bad loss, coming home, they should eat this Detroit defense alive. There is no one that can cover anyone on this Vikings offense. And last year, and look, the Lions are better, but let, last year this line was nine at home. I, I think the Vikings are better too from a coaching standpoint. The time was nine home. And by the way, the Vikings won by two in one game. They lost by two in one game when they gave up a touchdown on the very last play with no time remaining. The game that they won by two, they should have won by way more. You had them minus nine. Yes, in that game. I remember that. And there oh, was like man. a fumble at the end, and then they gave it another kick, and then it was just a back. They end up kicking a field goal to win it. That's the Zimmer way. Like they take their foot off the gas. And, um, and by the way, uh, Dalvin Cook didn't play in any of the meetings last year. Adam Thielen missed one of the meetings. So they, they were their offense was never at full strength. Offensive line is in better shape now. So I think the Lions are better, but I also think the Vikings are better. And I think that you're getting this line really cheap because everyone is just on this Lions hype. And I was on the, everyone told me last week to bet the commanders, right? And the market moved it out. We were on the Lions. And then the like to bet the commanders on the road. No, we were on the we were betting the Lions, but now yeah. everyone, all the people that wanted to bet that wanted to bet the commanders want to bet the Lions, And then also a lot of people were telling me about the Vikings last week against the Eagles under a field goal. And I'm saying no. And now everyone says fade the lot, fade the Vikings. I mean, it's amazing. Um, after week one, the Vikings win the Super Bowl. after last week against a really good Philadelphia team in a bad matchup. Now the Vikings stink. Um, so like it's, so I think you're getting your, I, I think this line should be seven. I think you're getting it cheap. The Lions offense could give Minnesota some problems here. Harrison Smith might be out safety. You're going to have a really young secondary and Detroit's offense has been explosive. They still have some injuries on the offensive line, but apparently it doesn't matter. Um, But the Vikings offense is a lot better. And the Vikings defense is more talented. They're at home here off an embarrassing loss with a really good coach, good home field advantage. And just, I I love the play calling that I'm seeing. And this isn't going to be your Vikings team. That's like up 14, three, and then they start, handing it off on first and second down and then they're punting. And then like, and after what they did last year with the Vikings, the Lions and the Lions, when they won that game, that was their first win, really embarrassing loss for the Vikings. So I think they come out here at home. You'll hear, hear the horn. Um, you'll be hearing that horn a lot. I think they build a lead and then they stay on it. The Lions won't make it easy, but I think there's some value here, uh, especially under six, but anything under a touchdown, give me the Vikings skull. Yeah, this is one I was uh, eager to talk to you about because it, I think it has implications for Survivor too. It's it's a tough week for Survivor, so I wanted to hear your case uh, for the Vikings because I'm I'm not there to be honest. I you know, I mean this Lions offense is just like a backdoor cover machine. Uh, that's what scares me about you know weighing five and a half six against this this Lions team is that you know I mean everyone's gonna quote the stat they've scored thirty five or more in three straight games dating back to last year, but uh, you know I do think. With this offensive line healthy, uh, going against the Minnesota defense that I, it, it's still kind of mediocre. I mean, I, it should be better, but uh, I'm I'm kind of worried about the back to cover. It's a division game, so um, I probably won't join you on the, the spread, but might have to might still end up taking the Vikings for a Survivor because it's it's a tough week. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it, it, it is interesting though because I I do think the Lions like the fact that it's a division game worries me a little bit more because. Like, for example, you know, you mentioned Kirk Cousins, you know, eats up man coverage. Well, in that second matchup last year, which the Lions pulled the upset, uh, they played about 75% zone in that game, which uh, I don't remember exactly how much man they were running last year because they, they, the cornerback sucked last year too. But, um, yeah, like, that, it just – there's certain things that just worry me with the familiarity here. But I, I, at the same time, you know, it's a new new coaching staff for the Vikings, so – they should have the element of, you know, surprise and haven't put everything on tape yet. 
Yeah, and the Minnesota just runs such an inefficient offense. And by the way, in that game, they didn't have Thielen or Cook. Um, yeah, that's which true. Which matters. Um, and their offensive line was worse off then. Um, so, yeah, and this this line's defense is a mess. And, look, they, they were down 17 to the Eagles in the second half at home. And why, but just because they scored a bunch of backdoor, like the, the Vikings could have gotten the back door. I mean, Irv Smith catches a touchdown. <laughs> like there was a block punt. If they don't get caught if the, with the, the snapper, doesn't catch the, like there's two touchdowns and the Vikings could have lost by four. Right. I mean, like, okay. The line, yeah, the line's got the back door, but eventually the lines aren't going to cover every week. There's going to be some regression coming in that standpoint as well. And I think because of what the Vikings saw last year with that, they're going to keep their foot on the gas here and their offense should just be more efficient overall. And there's just no one that can cover everyone on that team on this Lions team. I mean, any look, the Lions came out and just stomped on the commanders, but they, they, that got scary late. Um, yeah, it did. So there's no reason why in Minnesota that this offense can't carve up. And I'm not as worried about the back door. When the total, you know, like a road dog with low totals, always scary in division. But this, I mean, this totals very high. Expect a lot of points, which eliminates some of the concern there. Um, but they certainly could could do it again, getting back door. But hopefully, the Vikings build a big enough lead, or Goff uh, gives us a turnover late. But I think there's value in this number after what we saw last week. 